Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math Essential for Machine Learning and this is the last topic of the probability theory that we are going to cover uh, for the time being and that is on continuous random variable. Now before we uh, get into the too much details of this, first let's remind us about the discrete random variable. And remember in our last example, we took two coins and we flipped them and we tried to find out uh, how many heads are we getting, right? So the three distinct values that we got was if we flip two coins, we may not get a, any head at all. We might get one head or we might get head in both the cases, right? So those were the discrete values. That means it had zero uh, heads, one head or two heads, right? Nothing beyond that. We, we did not have any scenarios where we can get 1.5 head or 2.5 heads, etc. Right? Now, that is the example of a discrete random variable. They have finite number of values and they have very discrete uh, fixed values there. Okay? Alright. Now, what if I give you a new task right? and I ask you to find out the height of uh, people in a city. right? Uh, take any city, you say in Mumbai or in Tokyo or in California, just go to any city and try to find out the height of each people there, right? So what would happen is, you know, uh, we can start with a baby, you know, and roughly say the minimum value that we can say probably start with say is 50 centimeter, right? And another baby could be as small as 50.1 centimeter or it could be 51 centimeter or an adult could be around 180 centimeter and if we are like very precise in our measurement we could also go like 81 point um, 81 point say 2 3 6 7 centimeter and so on right so depending on the precision amount we can go and measure the length right now these are all individual values of a sample correct similarly in our coin flip we had zero head we can get one head or we can get two head if we flip two coins now similarly if we calculate or measure the height of uh, individuals in a city then these values could uh, be any value right uh, and they can be as precise as possible, right, if we go that. So they are not basically discrete, they are basically a continuous value. Similarly, you know, this is the example of uh, height of people. If we take the temperature of, a, say, boiling water, right, so if we, uh, you know, if we say we have a bowl of water and say we are, you know, uh, boiling it, right, we, so what is the temperature at any given point? It could start with say 1 degree centigrade, say it's a cold water and then it can go to 1.1 degree centigrade and so on, right? And probably it will later on, see if we keep hitting it and pro provide it with more heat, probably at one point of time it will go say 200.139 uh, degrees centigrade and so on, right? It can take any value. That means it will take a continuous value, right? And from another data set, we also know that suppose we have a picture, right? And we have a sun glowing here and, you know, we have a picture like this. And individual pixels have some intensity. We know that uh, in a digital world, the, the intensity or the color lies between 200 to 255. But still, we consider... Uh, cases like this as continuous here okay this was just a mixed case so I just took this as an example so in case of pixel values we still consider that as a, a continuous variable so you can see that uh, any variable which can take any value which is not discrete which is not fixed right those kind of variables are considered as a continuous uh, you know variable which can take any random values 